Hi, I'm Assembly Member Rudy Salas, and I'd like to thank Dr. Christian, the entire BC community, the staff and the students for celebrating Black Independence Day. But also, this is a time of celebration because it's Juneteenth, right? It's the celebration and recognition of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. We know that decades and decades ago, Abraham Lincoln signed this into law, but we know that even though it was signed into law, we're still having some of these same struggles, these struggles of equity, these struggles of social justice, these struggles of freedom. Um, so I just wanna say that even though we're celebrating Juneteenth and it was something that happened a long time ago, it's still relevant to our lives today. And I think that's what you're seeing across the country, not only with George Floyd, but the countless, countless incidences we've seen on the news, we've read about in the papers, or we've seen in our own lives. We know that the struggle continues I am just so pleased to see so many young people out there engaged, uh, getting involved, having peaceful protests, having vigils to show that they are engaged in this fight to make sure that we're fighting for equity, we're fighting for equality, we're fighting for justice for all. In fact, here in the state capitol, we just recently passed ACA 5 to help with this struggle, to help move the bar and move us ahead. And so I'm just so proud of the BC community for celebrating uh, Black Independence Day and Juneteenth and know that you have partners, you have people that are committed to joining you in this fight and this struggle. And um, thank you for allowing me to share a few words.